can do already. Yep. Okay. Yes. So this is uh, what I'm going to talk about now. Um, Hong Kong is a Hong Kong uh, is uh, the world's freest economy. I don't know whether I spelled that correctly. Anyone good at English? It says free easy <laughs> to ease. Anyway, so the biggest problem in Hong Kong is that um, we are too lucky. Okay, um, not too long ago, mainland China um, they were closed. Okay, we make a lot of money from smuggling goods into China, medicine, you know, and things like that. Okay, and then, um, and then, Deng Xiaoping got around, they opened up, and they had to learn from us. Okay, we told them what capitalism it was, and then they, oh, they, they didn't say now they, they, they're very market economy. They said, oh, it's, it's, we are in the beginning stage of uh, 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 socialism. Okay, so that's what they say, what, what they are now. But, um, so, um, the unfortunate thing is um, quick money, very easy, uh, no long-term will, okay? And for uh, many IT firms, uh, for example, Google, the Google branch in Hong Kong, very small. And um, uh, last year, we did get a sponsorship, and they sent people from uh, mainland China. And they, the ad advertisement is to find people to work in the Shanghai and Beijing branch. Like, um, in Hong Kong branch, there's no opening. And so, uh, so that's one of the difficulties in Hong Kong. And um, in Hong Kong, what um, people think about IT people. Okay, so this is taken from, uh, I think, a secondary uh, textbook. And then uh, this is uh, a very advanced uh, AI Dog. Okay, this AI dog very knowledgeable, answering IT questions. So they don't even think we're human. Like our representative is a very clever uh, IT dog. Okay, so we call them IT dog. Okay, now come. So that uh, that's an unfortunate fact for us. Okay, uh, okay, and as I mentioned that um, actually we. Um, we were smuggling goods. Why could we smuggling goods? Because we were formerly um, British colony, and we have a different treatment. We were um, like um, the, you know, as I said before, freest economy in the whole world. The British, you know, uh, less affair for quite a while. Um, I'm not going to go into Hong Kong history, but anyway, uh, there was a treaty that part of Hong Kong, uh, the new territories have to be returned uh, in 1997 to mainland China, and mainland China said, no, we, not, we want the whole thing. But anyway, it's not sustainable. If, if uh, Britain only got the, the island bit, it doesn't work. So the whole Hong Kong was returned to uh, mainland China, have our own um, flags, and we, like, um, we have a seat in the WTO, and, Hong Kong, uh, and China have a seat in the WTO. So we do have some privileges um, and some kind of uh, high uh, autonomy, so-called, um, for uh, for the Hong Kong government. Okay, and the same year we found uh, the Hong Kong Linux user group. Okay, and then by then Linux is a new thing, and also very luckily we got. Persecution from Microsoft. Okay, <laughs> Microsoft tried to enforce uh, their licenses. Okay, and so we got a lot of people trying to learn <coughs> Linux because they um, try to even um, catch uh, all the uh, public schools for using. Uh, illegal uh, Microsoft licenses. So a lot of people get interested. So we have um, meetups every Sunday. We have monthly talks, and then we have booth. And, and of course, we have the, um, I think a lot of uh, Linux user group did that, um, uh, Linux installation fest, and then install servers uh, and desktop. And more interesting, this is the 
one thing uh, missing is called the Chinese Linux extension. And then uh, we work with our friends in Taiwan. And then uh, that because usually computers, they come in English or uh, you know, uh, European characters. Okay, and then we have to uh, work our way to make uh, computer show Chinese characters. Okay, so um, that may keep us busy for a while. And then we have the open source application, the knowledge association, which uh, emphasis on application. Okay, so after a while, um, the operating system is working quite well. And then uh, we focus on getting people to use um, all kind of applications. Like um, I think um, still that one we. We work on fonts um, um, because for Hong Kong there are some local fonts that uh, the Taiwan is not interested to, have to help us because only us using those those characters and we we um, create those fonts. Okay, and then um, unfortunately, as you know, we do involve in community works. A lot of time it's about the leadership. Sometimes leadership they they have uh, they marry have babies and and all kind of uh, further reasons, then uh, of course, uh, very fortunately, one of the founder of uh, Hong Kong Linux Group, uh, Sammy Fong, still, still very active, and then he found uh, Open Source Hong Kong. And um, um, this is actually very good because um, a lot of people say that, ah, oh, this is a very good name when you think of Open Source. Uh, who do you ask in Hong Kong? Of course, Open Source Hong Kong is the one you, you could ask. Okay, so uh, there are um, we follow um, some of the practices from uh, Linux Sushi Group. Um, <coughs> so we have uh, monthly talks, and then we have uh, mini hackathons, and so um, yes, we have um, the talks, thirty of them, and then more than uh, five hackathons. And still today, I think. Um, uh, the Open Source Hong Kong is um, the Facebook page and group is the most active um, open source discussion places in Hong Kong online, and um, and so we um, support some main open source conferences. Um, we used to have a lot of um, the yearly um, Software Freedom Day. We celebrate that um, every year, and so on. And then we think that ah. Oh, well, could we take up uh, a more international event? So uh, we were contacted by a Genome Asia team uh, for uh, for years, and then one year said, "Oh, okay, we we can try that." Okay, and then we tried to organize that. Okay, and um, yes, um, that is one of the photo with uh, a lot of the main people from Genome. Um, and, and then uh, we find that actually uh, we need to have um, a <coughs> more um, better organized in terms of um, um, how to say that um, we need to open some kind of a company um, and turn it into a non-profit organization and we call it Hong Kong Creative Open Technology Association okay so um, Yes, there's two words important, creative and technology, because in order to get funding, um, the government officials, they have no knowledge of what open source is, they have no, no interest whatsoever, but if it's creative and technology, then we can, we can uh, hopefully get some money from them, okay? And um, yes, we want to um, promote open standards, free software, open source software, open hardware, uh, free culture works, open content, and creative commons. Yes, uh, yeah, there's a lot of terms because um, if you go into it, free culture works, open content, open creative are slightly different. But I'm not going to go into the history about uh, Richard Stallman complaining about some of the NC stuff and stuff like that. Uh, that that's interesting. But uh, yeah, but we try to capture as much as we can in our um, missions, uh, in our objectives. And then uh, we are very lucky to get um, the the um, tax department, the uh, in and revenue uh, department, saying that oh, if people donate to us, it will be uh, they can pay less tax. Okay, 
Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's very useful. This number we, we go everywhere to talk to uh, bis uh, business and government life. Say we got this number. Okay, so this is recognized by the government, and then uh, we run um, with the experience from uh, genome.asia. We um, run a more local Hong Kong open source conference uh, from 2013 um, to um, yeah practically every year okay and and we have PyCon um, we started about two and a bit more years uh, ago and then um, we are going to run uh, our third year uh, this year first time this year okay and so um, for the statistics um, that um, the genome.asia a summit we have 125 people and then we do the um, Hong Kong open source conference and then the people uh, uh, basically uh, more than double okay and then uh, we have the PyCon Hong Kong um, then um, yeah it's about 200 people and then we're getting more and more overseas speakers and more and more overseas participants uh, over the years and um, for the Hong Kong Open Source Conference, um, we usually got more um, sponsorship, and you, um, we usually can sponsor a few people, overseas people, uh, speakers for um, hotel, and also um, uh, the, the the plane fare. Okay, so that is um, our situation, and then locally um, we. Um, Phones again because um, yes, um, Chinese computing. Uh, you have um, the work's never done. You also always have more work to do. Um, so what's that? Um, is that okay? So what happens is um, usually the government likes standards. Okay, so uh, the education bureau have a standard on how to write the characters. Okay. And yes, this is how uh, our Taiwanese friends, uh, government say that, that that should be like this, okay, for this word, okay? And then this is how the Hong Kong government say the word should be like this, okay? But the Hong Kong government create this word in flash, okay? And even on this website, other characters um, on this web page is look like this because uh, for the uh, Microsoft Windows, the fonts are created by our uh, Taiwanese friends, and <laughs> and so the characters are different. So um, we get um, some. Um, okay, we have some. Um, we have some uh, elderly people, and then um, yeah, we one of our um, activists. Um, all the way from uh, the days of Linux user group. He's um, um, a social worker, very rare. Like usually, it's like IT dog like us, right? <laughs> it's just IT people. And he's, um, he's one of the senior staff in an elderly uh, center. And he believed that um, elderly people are not just sitting there and we send uh, kids to sing, you know, choir of kids and sing songs to them and then no. Elder people, they're still very heavy, uh, healthy, uh, they're capable even in the area of IT, and they, um, they actually change um, uh, the fonts um, to match the standard of the Education Bureau. Actually, uh, we also again have to say thank you to our Taiwanese friends, because your government um, do open data, and they open up a font, uh, the, the Kai Su, okay? so that we can change your phone. Okay, so also thank you for Creative Commons. So, so the story is very strange. We got an open phone from the Taiwanese government and the elderly changed that so that we can help the student in Hong Kong to match the standard of the Hong Kong Education Bureau. Okay, and so, um, oh, 10 minutes, okay, good. Um, so, um, yeah, so this is, um, yeah, um, we also say thank you to the elderly people because it's not easy to, to, to muck around with phones. It's not easy, and but um, we 
we um, that's what we do as well. Um, okay. Oops. Where is that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And also, um, in terms of education, we um, if you go to our booth um, at the entrance, um, we built um, small size um, 3D printers. And this 3D printer is not just um, built by us. It's actually it comes in a kit form where um, the students can put uh, put together by themselves, so that. They're not just users of the 3D printer, they can understand how the 3D printer works, okay? And, and we created small so that the problem is that um, in a lot of school, uh, Hong Kong is um, re a relatively rich place and the uh, education bureau got some money and usually school can get money to buy one or two 3D printers, but that's not enough. Most students will never touch that, so we want small printers that can integrate with the computer room so that uh, each uh, computer can connect to one or two computer connect to one so that student can use it and practice 3D printing, okay? And also we have um, a 3D printed uh, chassis that uh, we put in component. Uh, it's called Tommy Car because the creator of the car is called Tommy and then um, and then this uh, can help students to understand electronics. We use uh, Arduino so that um, they can um, use the standard um, um, IDE to uh, learn programming. Okay, and also um, we have the Open Spider where um, where because um, usually for a uh, robot with legs, usually they will be humanoid, they will be like models like human with two legs. But uh, to give the student a more of a challenge, we have spider of four legs and six legs so that they need to think about how to get the spider to walk and also to go through some obstacles. Okay? So, um, yes, people do ask us about those things. Yes, uh, we haven't released their. Uh, Design yet, we will be okay. <laughs> yes, they are over hardware, but we haven't, uh, um, yeah, we haven't. Um, we are going to show uh, put the design up very soon, okay. And yes, so what is the final message for all of this? Uh, come to our booth, yes, um, we, we've got things to show you, and also, um, the open source conference will be the 9th and 10th of June, okay? If you can come, that would be great, okay? Come to the conferences, and then um, the PyCon will be some, somewhere around October and November, okay? And if you want to keep up with um, us, yes, um, the, as I mentioned, that the Open Source Hong Kong Facebook is actually um, the most uh, active place where uh, Hong Kong IT people and alike um, and other activists, they uh, talk about um, open source things. And please also uh, come to the Open Source Hong Kong website um, and um, you will see our latest news. Okay, so, um, so I still have a few minutes, is it? Yeah, five more minutes. Please. Five more minutes, so I can spend that on questions. Please ask me questions. Language question. The character you were showing before that's different in Taiwan and yeah, yeah. Hong Kong, is that equivalent like English versus American spelling? So uh, for example, people understand it, they know what they're reading, it's not actually a problem, it's really just the language nitpickers who go, but that's not quite right, there's a U in colour, but it's not. Um, is it I'll, equivalent or is it um, more fundamental? Now, okay. Um, okay, I better show that one. Um, yes, that is what people ask us as well. Okay, um, if you ask me, uh, is that really very fundamental? Um, my personal answer would be no. Um, because, you know, those characters are produced by brush, you know, and that our ancestors, 
They are very artistic. <laughs> they have, you know, in one of the um, dictionary, something like two or three uh, hundred years ago, one of the words seven, seven, they have something like four styles <laughs> in, the, in the dictionary, not like in, in history. In history, there's many, like all the famous uh, calligraphy, you know, people, they, they you know, use the brush and make it very beautiful, but they never could imagine something called computer, right? You know, and since so a thousand years ago, of course they, they but it's understandable, like you, you can see that quite similar. Like we like I, I won't fight with uh, Franklin over like what <laughs> like this, you know. Uh, but on the other hand, um, there are um, you know character historians that tracks back and say that ah oh, this is more correct than that one. And then, and then we have different, you know, character historians in Hong Kong and in Taiwan, and so we end up with different writing styles. Okay, so that that is the story, and um, and um, of course it's quite political. So um, this is a Taiwan style, this is Hong Kong style, and also though um, the uh, mainland China. Um, they write in a simplified form. They also have a standard on this traditional form. So we have three standards, <laughs> at least. Okay, three standards at least. Okay. So is it political because the government becomes involved? Uh, or, or it's it always has been that way. Yes. Uh, more than a few thousand years. Uh, oh, Chinese characters is then governed by, by the government, central government. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so because, because we have a long tradition of. Uh, Examination system, okay, and then um, the examination system, um, you know, standardize everything. I, I was told that even the characters got standardized as well, even you know, hundreds of years ago. But uh, of course, we can also argue whether that is the standard. <laughs> you know, that, that should be, but we, we may not say that yes, that's the, the standard for the Qing Dynasty, but. We are not Qing Dynasty anymore, and should that be said, you know, so we can argue as well. Currently, the whole Chinese only use three systems. So, compared with uh, our ancestors about 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, we got about 60 years ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, when you first started off the Linux user group, do you have problem finding hardware support for Linux? Oh, of course. Of course. And, and, to some extent, that's to our advantage. People will come to us and ask questions and say, oh, do you have drivers for this? Or, you know, where do you solve this problem? Um, we have about 100 people, um, uh, most uh, monthly meetings. Yeah. But nowadays, it's, it's become better, and, so, and also easy to find solutions online, so people won't come to see us in person. So, so that, that's the interesting. Yeah, so, uh, what is the resource usage in Hong Kong government? Uh, the Hong Kong government, as, as I said, Hong Kong very lucky. The government is in surplus, lots of surplus, very strange government. You know, <laughs> old government borrows money, but Hong Kong government has got a lot of money, they don't know how to spend it. Um, Actually, how, how does that happen? Because uh, Hong Kong taxes are particularly low and there's not very many. Um, uh, okay, I can explain to you uh, a very complete answer, but not now. Okay, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but yeah, and so they just play Microsoft, okay, or whatever when the, there is, you know, and they they, they because they got the money, okay. And what what additional interesting fact? The original font of Taiwan, you know, it is made by means of education Taiwan, but the very ridiculous thing is that at first it is licensed to citizens in Taiwan only. Oh. <laughs> and several people in Taiwan, uh, in open source community, that we push them to make uh, change this license to city license. So, so yeah, they, they so it. now you will yeah. like it. Yes, 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 and thank you. <laughs> Wait, licensed from who? From the government. Also the government. Yeah, the government only let, 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 let him oh, yes. use it, oh. not me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so you so say that so like everyone in the bush is able to use it. Yeah. So, yes.
Okay, so um, yeah, is it time? Oh. Yeah, we have some five or ten minutes. But yes, yes. But if, if you are done, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so five minutes. A quick um, answer is that um, when when there's a handover uh, from the, uh, British to Chinese. Um, the British complain that the another uh, Chinese complain that the British will use all the money of the government. So the um, there's only a limited amount of land that the British could sell for about 20 years. So the land price goes up, and then the government becomes very rich by selling land. And then we have to pay a lot of money to buy a very small apartment. So we as Hong Kong people pay actually a lot of tax through uh, paying a mortgage. Okay, and the government got rich. That's <laughs> okay, so it's basically property tax they're making money from because of value of land. Oh, yes. Okay, Because it, right. yeah. if, if it's just from selling And, land, and, 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 and the Chinese land, government so. always complained um, before 1990, for about 20 years that the government spent too much. <laughs> okay, so they're not spending, they just keep on the money, and so, the, and then the, the um, the Hong government learned from the British that they should not spend too much money. So they're very concerned with spending money. The Chinese complain they use too much money. So end up there, we got a lot of money. <laughs> For the government only. Like, I want to have part of it, but you know, we suppose they have part of it, but no, we don't have it. Okay, yeah, that's good.